What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today we're going to discuss five things the Age of Triumph needs in my opinion to be a success. But before we get into it, if you guys do enjoy the video, leaving a like is much much appreciated. Okay, so only a little bit of information is known about the Age of Triumph. This is the next content drop for us Destiny players, which we are getting at the end of March. At the moment, there isn't much info on the DLC, like I said, apart from Old Rage Returning and a record book, which is supposed to be the biggest yet. Yesterday, we got a sneak peek in the form of a teaser trailer, which I covered in a video, which I will link in the video description. But even then, the Vault of Glass footage we saw was old, so whether they didn't really want to reveal it or just a lazy is another question. The first of three reveal streams is coming tomorrow, the 8th of March, around 5 to 6 p.m. GMT time via Bungie's Twitch channel. But other than the old rage returning and a record book, not much else is known. Today I bring you five things, in my opinion, the Age of Triumph needs. Now if you want to see something I don't mention, be sure to leave a comment down below. Okay, so the first thing we need is a way to clear out our precious vaults. Whether that's extra vault space or kiosks for class items, weapons and armors because I don't know about you guys but I'm struggling for space. I'm finding myself deleting stuff I really want to keep and yes people will say what is the point of keeping shit you're never going to use but that really isn't the point. As a year one player I spent countless hours grinding this game for loot that was never guaranteed. Some pieces of armor and certain weapons for me took months to obtain. These weapons which are taking up space in my vault are all I have for all that grinding I did. Deleting them means all them hours I put into this game were for absolutely nothing. Plus it's nostalgia. I love looking back through my vault and remembering the good old times. So yes, extra vault space in my opinion is definitely needed or another way to save space in our vaults is definitely necessary. The next thing I want to see with the Age of Triumph is a new set of vendor weapons across the board. I mean this for me is a must but I do kind of have a feeling we may be let down. The thing about new weapons is even if they are reskinned they still offer much more than people realise. It's another chunk of content to explore and play with. I love testing new weapons, grinding for that certain weapon and just in general seeing new things. The weapons the vendor have now seem like they've been here for years and a fresh batch in my opinion is definitely welcome about now. Now I've seen ideas of weapon kiosks where you can go back and purchase any weapons from year 1 up to year 3. The idea to me sounds great but for some reason I just don't see it happening. With a fresh set of weapons I would also like to see new armors also. Armors though for me ain't really a main issue due to the amount of armor available at the moment and how customizable they are. But still a fresh batch of both is always welcome. Okay, so we're going to move on. The next thing I want to see come with the Age of Triumph is a good increase in light level. This is a must and something I do think will happen. A point to make which includes the weapons I mentioned earlier is the fact this confirmed by Bungie will be the last content drop before Destiny 2 which is set for release end of year so it's at least 6 months away. This content needs to have some serious features to last that long. A higher light level to play and reach for is a must. Now the increases in light score we had in the past haven't been amazing. Now I could be wrong here but I'm pretty sure it went from 300 to 320, 320 to 335 and 335 to 400. The Age of Triumph I'm hoping for at least a 50 to 100 light level increase. I just don't see it happening though. And realistically, we will probably know in Bungie get about a 20 light score increase. Imagine that. But yes, a definite light score improvement is a must. Okay, so moving on. Now we all know the Vault of Glass is making a return. Now there is a question of whether or not these weapons will include the elemental burns they offered in year one. Now I don't know if Bungie realised this, but the burns on those weapons were what made them so fucking great. If the burns are taken away, in my opinion, they're not worth grinding for. The Fate Bringer without the Art Burn is not a Fate Bringer, it's an Imago Loop. And so on for all the other weapons that drop from these year one raids. From the Vault of Glass, we had the Fate Bringer, the Vision of Confluence, the Aphids Epilogue, and the Prayer of Time Beast, and I'm sure there's something else. These weapons, in my opinion, must include the elemental burns they once had, if they're going to make a return. 
If we do see Crota's end raid return also, the primary weapons available from this raid in my opinion also need to have the burn effects they once offered. The Oversoul Edict, the Abyss Defiant, the Word of Crota, the Fang of Eryut, the Light of the Abyss, these weapons need to include that elemental damage. There is no ifs or buts about it. Okay so moving on to the final thing Age of Triumph needs and that is, it needs to be free. Now I don't mind cosmetic items which offer nothing but a fancy look, but anything else in terms of affecting playstyle or giving people an advantage is a big no no. Here I'm talking about your in real life money spent on that silver, spent on shit from Tess Eververse. The DLC itself, the fact that we are seeing old raids return, raids which we have already parted with our money for to play, they can't expect us to part with more money for what we've already brought. Yes, fair enough, if new content is added in the form of new story, new missions and other new things, which I doubt are coming, I would happily pay for the new stuff. But if like we think this Age of Triumph is about celebrating the past three years and then three years being brought back to life, either way they can't expect us to pay for this DLC. But that is just my opinion. And those guys are the five things the Age of Triumph must bring and be, in my opinion, to be a success. Tomorrow we find out for sure via Bungie's live stream. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below in that comment section what you think about the points I made today. Let me know if I missed anything also. Thanks as always for stopping by and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Get it right